really made an effort to kind of like get a better sound. Not that we didn't weren't happy with the sounds that we had, but we had a more kind of a raw thing going on in the original recording. A very basic trio. Second album, we maybe added a couple of overdubs here and there, but still was pretty trio based. And the third album, we stretched out on a few tunes, but not too much more. And on this album, we just said, ah, let's make a studio album. And so we went into a really cool studio uh, that Marco knew about called Brethren Studios in uh, Ojai, California. And uh, we tried some new recording techniques. It was obviously a different room. And uh, I feel like we were able to kind of bring the arrangements and the songs to life in a way that, that we hadn't before. One of the biggest uh, plus points also was the environment. Uh, we were in a beautiful mountain valley town called Ojai, and uh, I think we didn't leave this town for like about like two weeks. We were just kind of basically locked into this beautiful environment of nature. Uh, it had some cool bars, some cool coffee places, some amazing restaurants, and uh, I guess you know it reflects in the music. There was no distraction. I guess it was beautiful, and the sounds were fantastic. I found that studio a few years ago when I was working with Steinberg on the sound library. So I guess that says it already all. Like you know, some clever engineers were already, you know, finding the studio for a reason. We established a system right from the start of this band because we realized we wanted to work together, but we lived in different time zones. I think all three of us lived in different time zones when this started. Right. So we're not the kind of band that can get together in a rehearsal room once a week and jam ideas out. So we realized early on we, we will need structure and discipline in the way we do this. So each of us will submit three of our own compositions for, for any of the albums that have happened so far. It's worked that way. So. We record demos with like, representations of all the instruments. We send the MP3s to each other. We just listen, try and absorb the material, and then try and knock it into some kind of band shape once we're together in the recording studio. The song will always tell you what to do. That's what I like to say when it comes to choosing sounds uh, and when it comes to playing parts. Sometimes some songs are more part-oriented. Some songs are more improvisational-oriented. And there's always rooms for little flourishes in the written parts. And, you know, we're not a jazz band. We're not the kind of band where it's just like, okay, we're going to play the head for 30 seconds. Now we're going to each alternate solos, and they're all going to be 10 minutes long. And then we'll go back to the head, play it for a minute, and then every we'll stop. Everybody will clap and clink their glasses. That's not us. We're a rock band. So, you know, uh, the improvisational bits are, ba are based into rock structure, even though it's instrumental rock. And so that's why I like to call us Rock Fusion because it gives us the flexibility to have actual kind of rock and even pop song forms, uh, but also add improvisational bits when we want, whenever we want. Uh, and then there are some sections where we can truly just open up and, and do whatever. So ideally, I think it's a balance. sometimes scary to see people mimicking all our little breaks and fills and things which is actually really beautiful because you want an audience you know to get what you do because we put so much effort into our music and into our expertise what we have and it's very rewarding if you attract people who get it you well, that's know what we did when we were kids right? we were always yeah. making our favorite fills you know what i mean absolutely yeah so but what we also like is when people are listening to the songs and enjoy the songs and not, and not you know solely or purely coming for the fireworks, you know, but just also to listen and they, and they sing along, they sing the melodies and uh, there's audience participation and they're looking forward to it. We can literally have like a sort of, a, we, enter, we can entertain a jazz audience and a rock audience at the same time. And it's kind of cool to see that you see people in the row doing that and some people uh, were there with their glasses and kind of taking notes, you know, it's a bit of both, but we love that.